every single one of these math problems that we've talked about, we've, uh, we've talked about the fact that in this course, really we're going to spend all our time learning about how to solve uh, math problems um, analytically, or excuse me, numerically, uh, as opposed to analytically, which is uh, much of what you've studied to this point. But really, uh, before we get there, we really need to talk about where these math problems come from in the first place. And that's what mathematical modeling is all about. Every one of these problems that, that comes up starts with a real world problem. Okay, so there's a real world problem behind any any mathematical problem that you might encounter there's a real world problem now there that real world problem could be uh, any problem it could be uh, okay let's let's give some examples it could be a problem from the financial industry it could be um, a problem in uh, transportation uh, it could be a problem uh, energy uh, it could be a, an environmental problem they're just it could be anything um, to give you a concrete example uh, last last Christmas break I worked on uh, this this problem of, uh, of, of it's an agricultural problem of how to do uh, how to well, let's how to cut seed potatoes efficiently, okay? Because you have this problem where uh, seed potatoes have to be if you cut them too small, then you get a, a, a seed that's not viable; it won't grow into a potato plant. If you cut them too large, uh, then you're wasting uh, potentially good seed, and so you you have to optimize the the way that you're going to cut these seed potatoes. In addition to the fact that you can't you don't you're not going to do it uh, manually and take out a, a knife and cut them all up although that's certainly possible it's not very efficient and so there's this complex problem of seed potatoes that's just one concrete example where you might need to come up with a mathematical model uh, which I actually did in this case uh, to to address this real world problem and then uh, and then you actually solve your mathematical uh, you solve the problem that you come up with so we start with a real world problem and then we go through this exercise of mathematical modeling and then we come up with this mathematical model okay and this whole arrow of going from a real world problem to a mathematical model that is mathematical modeling And when we do mathematical modeling, we have to make certain assumptions. And we have to make approximations. Approximations, we can just write right over the top of that. Okay, so mathematical modeling is moving from the real world problem uh, to a mathematical model by making certain assumptions and approximations but still grasping the essence of the real world problem for example we can even we can compare that to the definition in the textbook which says a mass mathematical model can broadly be defined as a formulation or equation that expresses the essential features of a physical system or process in mathematical terms I just have to point out it doesn't necessarily have to be a physical system um, Okay, so, so this is really what uh, mathematical modeling is, and it's uh, important because mathematical models help us solve real-world problems. We solve this mathematical model, uh, we come up with that solution, and then we apply that back to the real-world situation. And I would also point out that in uh, this mathematical modeling step, we will talk about error more in the following sections but there is already assumptions and approximations that there are already assumptions and approximations that we make when we come up with a mathematical model uh, in addition when we solve the mathematical model we'll have to make additional approximations but as long as those approximations are close enough uh, 
uh, then we can come up with a useful solution to the real world problem so that when we apply it we can do some some good in the world whether it be uh, to increase agri agricultural production and efficiency or or uh, 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 solve in my environmental problems, increase uh, efficiency of transportation, whatever the problem may be depending on your application, these can all be helped through uh, the use of mathematical modeling.